In this presentation we're going to talk about generating random numbers. Now, uh, we're, uh, what I have here is an R markdown document in HTML format, so that's why we have a big long uh, page and I'm going to sort of slide through it. So anyway, uh, generating random numbers, we have numerous ways of generating a set of random numbers, as well as specifying how many numbers we want. We have to, we, we can specify the distribution of numbers, the probability distribution that we want to draw from. Uh, for example, the main two we're going to use for what I'm about to do now, we'll use the continuous uniform distribution and also the normal distribution. But we could use other distributions, for example, the binomial, Poisson, and so on and so on. Uh, but just to sort of set out the general principles first off, let's use uh, the uniform and normal distribution. Now, uh, uniform uniformly distributed random numbers. Now, let's suppose we want to generate four... Uh, uniformly distributed no, uh, values, and so what first uh, we what we first do is specify that we want to use the uniform distribution, and that's commonly denoted U capital U there with the parameters A B, and the lower with the upper and lower bound specifically, so it's the minimum and maximum, and what we're going to do is uh, set uh, the lower and upper bound as zero and six. And we're going to call this data set set one. Now, so the command we're going to use here is called R U N I F. Now, R there stands for random, and U N I F is for uniform. Now, if you look at it that, and you're th so, uh, familiar with sort of programming control statements or other things, I can see where uh, some confusion would arise. That might sort of some people might take that as run if, like run a bit of code if a logical condition is met. Now, so just to sort of highlight that that's not the case. So it's R for random, UNIF for uniform, to generate random values from uniform distribution. There we go. So let's have a look at this in my R markdown document. So set one, so what we do there is type uh, RUNIF the number of values we want, 4, and the upper and lower bound, 0 and 6. So let's just do this in R console here. Uh, R U N I F, the, um, uh, the amount of values we want, n equals 4, and the other value parameters, uh, 0 and 6. So there we go. Now, um, how did I know to put them in that order? Well, what I could do here is go R U N I F help or question mark R U N I F. So I could do question mark R U N I F, or I could go help R U N I F. There we go. Essentially, what with the generating random numbers, you specify how many numbers you want first, and then the relevant parameters. So if I was to look up the um, the help file here I sort of see it here that I'll just make this a little bit bigger that it is the minimum and maximum which is what they call A and B there uh, minimum and maximum is 0 and 1 I've gone for 0 and 6 so essentially if you wanted to find some, out, out something like that that's what you would do so I'm going to close that down now so set 1 is run if 406 and there we have the numbers there now managing precision is we can uh, discretize these numbers using the floor and ceiling function and we can also use the round function so what I might do here is do this again set 1 okay let's look at set 1 Uh, the floor function is the parameter is the integer that precedes them each number in the number line. So essentially rounding it down. Or I can have the value that comes after it, the integer that comes after each of our numbers in the number line, the ceiling. Oops, put in a capital there. There we go, one six three five. Otherwise I could go I could round them to two decimal places, let's say. So, that's how we might generate some random numbers. Now, 
let's go back to my HTML file. So round and specify the number of places and we could also have floor and ceiling. Now uniformly, sorry, normally distributed random numbers we would use the command or norm. Now you remember earlier on I said or and unif for the uniform for the normal distributions or norm and just to be clear about that actually that's R and norm that look might look like an M actually what I'll do is make the font a bit bigger now it doesn't help you might sort of detect quite clearly that it's not an M just in case uh, you, you just the sort of thing my uh, case uh, that you give uh, that gives rise to any confusion anyway we must specify the two parameters of the normal distribution and that those are the normal distribution the parameters are mean and standard normal and the normal deviation sorry the standard deviation and so conventionally they're called mu and sigma but for the sake of typing something into war we would say mean and SD standard deviation so suppose I want to generate a uh, 14 random numbers for with a, a normal from the normal distribution with mean 5 and standard deviation 2 that's what I might do there or norm 14 again the number of values we want mean equals 5 standard deviation equals 2 and there we have uh, some of the output there 3.934 4.033 and so on we could also get a look at the summary there X so we call that if we call that sorry go back there a second if we call that sort of set of randomly ge uh, generated random numbers X that is the summary there summary of X now just recall the standard normal distribution is a special case of the uh, normal distribution where the mean is uh, default to zero and the standard deviation is uh, automatically one so it's sort of a special case of the normal distribution where the mean and standard deviation have very precise precise predefined values so uh, in that case we don't specify anything we just leave the numbers blank so if we want the uh, from the Z distribution standard normal distribution Z values essentially what we would do there is we would just leave just specify the, the, the numbers we want and uh, what would happen is that they would mostly be in the range minus 2 to 2 uh, as in 99% of them should be in that or 95% of them should be in that range and you get the odd one that will be let's say 2.5 or minus 2.5 or 2.9 and very very occasionally you might get a number that has an absolute value of four or more anyway so that's the standard normal distribution the mean is zero the standard deviation is one and to specify that when you're generating random numbers just leave it blank just specify how many values you want to generate okay and you can get the summary there again so anyway we'll leave it there let's call it a day